Joining us to go further in depth, Ohio Congressman Bob Latta, the congressman like Marsha Blackburn, also a member of the House Committee on Energy and Commerce. Bob, it is great to have you here this morning on America's Forum. Well, I greatly appreciate it. Thanks very much. So, Bob, let's get right to it. Ron Klain as the Ebola czar. First of all, do we need such a position, and do we need this guy, Ron Klain, in that position? Well, you know, there's been a lot of inconsistencies that have been coming out of the CDC. Uh, they changed their minds. They contradicted themselves. And uh, so, you know, there's a real question, you know, off the bat that a lot of people have as to, uh, you know, if, who's, who's given the commands out there and if they're given the right uh, orders. And, you know, people out here, have I haven't got anybody really saying, oh, boy, we're really glad that the president appointed him because, uh, again, as you said, what's his qualifications, what's his background? You know, when you when you look at what we already have, we already have a, you know, a director over at CDC, we have the NIH, and now we're appointing somebody else to, to do those jobs. So, you know, I, I don't think there's been a lot of uh, great acclamation that uh, he's being appointed by the president because, again, his background is not on the medical side that he can really bring any expertise to the subject. Not only does he lack medical expertise, but, Bob, apparently Ron Klain has already missed two White House Ebola meetings since uh, his appointment was made public. That doesn't exactly lend credibility to this appointment, does it? No, and, uh, you know, I heard that, and I thought to myself, you know, if I was being appointed to a position of such high priority that the president has given it, I'd think that the president would say, you know, really think that you ought to attend these meetings. And already be missing him is not a good sign because, again, he's got to get uh, brief updated because, again, without that medical background, uh, he's going to be uh, uh, behind that proverbial eight ball. In this past week, I was at uh, one of my very large hospitals in the district in a, in a smaller one in a small county and uh, seeing about the emergency preparedness that they're ready to have just in case they would have to receive an Ebola patient. And, uh, you know, so, again, you know, out here they're, they're – uh, trying to do what they can about getting themselves up to speed, making sure that they've got all the right equipment, the right people trained. And when the person at the top not going to the meeting, that's a bad sign. Well, Bob, your current colleague, my former colleague, Tim Murphy, chaired that hearing last week on Ebola, questioning the administration's response. And uh, Tim was on Fox News Sunday yesterday comparing Ebola to terrorism. Let's take a listen, and I'd like to get your reaction. Well, this is like dealing with terrorism. We have to be right 100% of the time, and Ebola only has to get in once. Bob, do you share that assessment from Tim Murphy? Well, I tell you, when you look at uh, the seriousness of this, when you look at uh, some of the uh, countries over in uh, West Africa that have you know, pretty much closed their borders, they're saying, you know, we don't want uh, the spread of that disease into our countries that, uh, you know, you've you got to treat it seriously. And I think that's what Tim's saying. This is a serious matter. It can't be taken lightly. And that, uh, you know, we were assured by the president we didn't have to worry about uh, any cases uh, ever getting the United States. And almost as, you know, sure as he said it, it happened. And not only did, uh, you know, unfortunately we had the gentleman come in who was infected, but then, of course, we have the two nurses that uh, are now battling it. So it's, you know, it's a real fear out there in the healthcare uh, community that they, they want to make sure they're prepared. They want to make sure that, you know, they've got the protocol. And so it's, it's, a, it's a real fight. It's, it's just not something to be taken lightly. Bob, less than a minute in this segment, though, we're going to have you back on the other side of the break. The CDC announcing new guidelines later this morning. What do you hope to hear in this latest uh, set of guidelines? Well, you know, in talking with my uh, health care providers out here, you know, we want to, hearing from them, they want to make sure that they've got the right protocol. They want to make sure that they're, they've got the list they showed me the you know the list that they've got from the CDC, you know how they're supposed to do things, you know the the reverse air flows in the rooms, making sure that they can get the uh, emergency garments on and off, the proper disposal, you know the, the handling of the patient. But as I said, you know there's they've been inconsistent and they've contradicted themselves. So hopefully what we're not going to hear is something that they're going to switch things around again. Yeah, understandably, you don't want to see him do a 180. Again. That's right. Bob Latta, we're going to ask you to stay with us. We're coming back with more with Congressman Latta following this break.